Good morning, uh, everyone. My name is Duncan Wang. Uh, it's my great pleasure to share with you the work we have done over the past 10 years. Actually, most of the work was done recently. The work is quite simple. Um, the work is related with the water and energy, right? As mentioned by Richard Smalley, energy and water are top two challenge for human beings in the next 50 years, especially uh, water and energy are coupled together. We use energy to uh, transport water, to collect water, purify water, and also at the same time, we also use water to produce energy, right? So um, in spite of a lot of progress, still there's some challenge in water and energy, right? Especially um, today I focus on um, how do we address this challenge from surface point of view, uh, because in many applications, especially in water energy next uh, you know, we use the water, right? And also the surface property very extremely important. Okay, so I will try to uh, answer some basic question. The first one is how to make the liquid leave the surface as soon as possible. Possible. That is on a hydrophobic surface, right? So if the surface hydrophobic, the current time is dropped with surface constant, and then we develop a surface which makes the water flow away as right? soon as possible. And also, we found that by continuing surface morphology, we can maintain the super hydrophobic property in harsh environments, and also even the surface is rotating the droplet can leave the surface much early, okay? And then we study, you know, uh, how to control the liquid transport on the surface, right? By controlling the surface structure or electro, uh, surface char, uh, electro charge density or gradient, and also the, uh, the other kind of gradient. We can make the water flow spontaneously and uh, long range and uh, also at a very high speed. This year, inspired by uh, a, a, a plant, the plant is very uh, elegant. The plant uh, is made of this kind of wretched array. The ethanol flow again uh, uh, along the wretched, but the water flow against the wretched. And uh, there, we replicate, replicate structure as the bio 3D printing. We found that the water and ethanol can flow very, very rapidly and spontaneously. The reason is the, uh, the geometry. You know, for example, as a chip, you know, that we have the mushroom structure which rectify the liquid flow. So this is the reason why the liquid couldn't. Uh, uh, pass through the, the, the threshold and the liquid uh, flow against the ratchet uh, by just controlling your printing, uh, you can control the liquid flow. And the work is very simple, but the work was highlighted by the times. I think one reason is this work was indeed inspired by nature, okay? So now we have we can control the water flow and uh, how to get power from water flow. We use the tree board, we call tree board electricity. Uh, so there are two requirements for that. The first is, is the surface should be hydrophobic, the second one is surface should carry some uh, surface charge, right? Uh, and to enhance the energy conversion efficiency, we design a new architecture, which is inspired by a transistor. We have a three terminals, source, drain, and a gate. Okay, the magically, when the liquid contact the drain, there's a peak, okay? The peak result in 1,000 food enhancement. Okay, this is quite amazing, okay? The amazing is also in the sense that this process is fully reversible. When the second droplet come in, we still have power generation. As long as you have water flow, you will have power generation, right? So now we can light up a uh, light bulb of 60 watts. Okay. So if you don't have water, we can first collect water from air. And then we, you know, we combine the water collector and also the power generator together. And also uh, uh, we uh, by 
this concept is generic. Okay, uh, this uh, let me even for solid solid contact electrification, we still achieve very high power density. Uh, this is the current record. Okay, so basically our design is generic, is universal. You know, is from droplet to moisture to continuous flow, from nano scale to large scale, from open surface to closed system, from solid solid liquid liquid solid liquid interface, all apply all work okay as long as you use our design you can improve the energy efficiency and also uh, we use the water to cool down the hard surface one is condensation another is boiling we did lots of work okay for example you know we solve a challenge in lightning frost right so usually at a high temperature you know we wouldn't uh, uh, cool down the surface right because the formation of vapor layer but on our surface, you know, we can cool down the the uh, uh, the hot surface. Even the surface is more than one thousand degree. But uh, several years ago, we didn't we didn't solve the problem. Only partially solved. But today, we fully solved the problem. Okay. So and also we can uh, integrate this design into microfluid microfluid channel. You know, for this kind this kind this kind design. We have very good thin film boiling to prevent the film boiling. Okay, so that's good. So we can cool down the computer chip very very efficiently. Right, just by use the fluid boiling, and also uh, learn from some beetle in the desert. We develop micro nano structure which can prevent absorption in the in the. Uh, uh, optical uh, uh, wavelengths, but send the heat out to universe, send to space, because the temperature at a space in German low is only three k. Okay, so this reduces cooling. Okay, so by this way we can passively cool down the material. Okay, so very uh, not that efficient, but you know it is free <laughs> the energy free. Okay, so basically we didn't apply any energy. So uh, quickly, uh, I talk about the work we did on the surface engineering. You know, more important, I think the idea is here to, to engineer the surface structure and uh, chemistry to dynamically change or modify how we could interact the surface, you know, for power generation and for energy. Uh, uh, for thermal energy, okay. I think uh, this is uh, even this is the old topic, but that lost the surprise, you know, uh, observed over the past ten years. Uh, finally, um, uh, 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 hopefully you enjoy uh, our work. If you have a question, uh, you can reach to me by email. You can go to my email address uh, through Google or by the other. Uh, 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 contact. Okay, so uh, now uh, it's my pleasure to answer your question. Okay, thank you.